Five years have passed since bloody civil war was brought to an end in the Republic of Altus. Thousands of families remain displaced. Refugees scattered across countries around the Mediterranean. The FIA are becoming increasingly desperate. And AAF forces... With the U.S.-led peacekeeping deployment coming to an end of its mandate, NATO forces... As millions of dollars of military equipment and infrastructure is decommissioned, opinion is split as to the wisdom of the drawdown. In light of CSAT forces stepping up joint military exercises in the Pacific. The U.S. is keen to reorient its conventional forces, reinforcing the Mediterranean Basin representing a strategic fault line between crumbling European and... ...argue that the withdrawal could not come at a worse time. AAF forces begin to consolidate their position on the backing of Canton Protocol forces, equipment and training. Fire again with Parliament was recalled for an urgent debate and a vote over the possible redeployment of British peacekeeping forces. Prime Minister Nicholas Ramsden said he would respect the defeat of his government's motion. Effectively ruled out the possibility of any extension to the NATO deployment in the former sovereign territory. Wars are like deaths, which, while they can be postponed, will come when they will come, and cannot finally be avoided. Hello there, and welcome to the first episode of our Arma 3 main campaign playthrough. Yeah, we are playing the East Wind campaign, which is Arma 3's main campaign. We are continuing on from the prologue that we have played a few weeks ago. And I guess here's our ride. So yeah, let's talk a bit about the general situation. In the prologue campaign we played as Sergeant Carey, which we are still playing as, and over there in the helicopter is uh, Sergeant Adams, which we also still know from the prologue. This main campaign now takes place one year after the little prologue campaign that we played, and we are now on the little island of Stratus, not on the main big island of Altus. And if we look at our tasks, we do not have many right now. We are to board the helicopter. And if we look at the briefing, there's a short situation report. The decommissioning of NATO assets on Stratus is roughly halfway complete. But Commander McKinnon wants to step up the pace of tearing down these bases. To that end, additional support is required at Camp Rogan and Camino. However, an AAF lockdown is making the process all the more difficult. The Greenback Brass are due to visit, more than likely, to protest against our work, our flags, our very presence, the same old, same old. Most of the roads are closed. Those which are actually open have our friendly neighborhood watch closely monitoring them. At the moment, only specially authorized vehicles are currently permitted freedom of movement. Airspace is open, but it's heavily restricted. We'll have to assess the situation on the fly to determine what work we can actually get done. Bring a good book though. It's nailed on that. It's nailed on that there'll be plenty of hanging around today. Okay. So yeah. As you have seen in the news intro, the NATO peacekeeping mandate is running out. It is not being prolonged. Uh, NATO is shifting its focus to the Pacific because of a growing sea set um, threat. CSET is the Canton Strategic Alliance Treaty, basically an alliance of China, Iran and a few other countries that are growing in might. And NATO is not interested in this stretch of the Mediterranean anymore. So we are scrapping everything that can't be taken with us and pulling out. The Altus, the Republic of Altus, doesn't want us here. Now I have turned down the volume because this helicopter would otherwise be terribly loud. But I will turn it back up once we are done with the helicopter ride. Let me wipe down my glasses. Right, we're set. Let's go. Copy that. November the way. And I'll shut up while they talk, of course. But look at this. The beautiful Mediterranean Sea. If you've been to the Mediterranean Sea in real life, please say so in the comments. Most of you don't know that, but I'm Croatian by birth, and... Oh, the let me shut up for a moment. Somebody forgot to tell the AAF commander we'd be decommissioning the airbase. He's throwing some kind of hissy fit over there right now. 
right now. A mess. So you think the greenbacks were actually competent or something? I wouldn't go that far. Hey, check out Maxwell. There's a helo. Did we finish with that place already? Guess not. Then again, Command doesn't really seem to know or particularly care what's going on. Part of me can't really blame them. As I was about to say, most of you think that I might be German because of my accent, but I'm actually Croatian, and I just love the Mediterranean. My 2-6 sure looks quiet. Yeah, most of the guys have shipped out already. Just a lucky few left doing the monkey work, huh? <laughs> You'd rather be on a boat in the Pacific, huh, Sergeant? I'd rather be the hell off this rock, sir. By the way, if these guys are referring to AAF forces or greenbacks, they are talking about the local AAF army, the military uh, dictatorship. Up. Nice. At this rate, we might even get out of here in all 20 years. Greenbacks wouldn't stand for that shit, lazy. They've had to stick up their ass about Baldy for weeks now. Yeah? Well, they can respectfully go fuck themselves, sir. We didn't butcher half our own population, and I sure as hell didn't ask to be on their piss ant island. Well, ain't that just half the problem? I thought the roads were closed. They are. Well, why is there a truck leaving Rogaine? <laughs> Good question. No idea. Maybe something important? Uh, I guess this is Rogaine, right, and we're coming in for landing. Turn us around before bringing us in. Try not to fall off. Oh. I can only imagine how exciting it must be to ride on the bench of a little bird helicopter that's... Are they secured at all, the guys that are sitting here? <laughs> Do they have a seatbelt or something? I don't know. But... Damn. Thanks for flying. Please disembark in an orderly fashion. Will do. Let me turn the volume back up, now that the helicopter ride is done. Oh. Audio. There we go. It's their goddamn problem. Where the hell are they? The Brits are broke, man. Everybody knows it. They can't even afford to defend their pointless little islands anymore. So why do we get stuck with them? Why do you think we're shipping out? We did our time, we kept our peace, now we get to go play with the big boys in the Pacific. I guess the Brexit must have happened in the Armorverse too. The Brits are broke. Ain't that nice. Corporal Ben Carey, reporting for duty. At ease. Okay, there's been a slight change of plan. Commander McKinnon requires logistical support down at Camino. He just left as you guys are coming in. Any idea why, sir? No, Corporal. Now take the trucks over there. Should probably get a move on. Understood, sir. Yeah, all right. We'll take the trucks. But let's first take a quick look at this here. What is written on this board? NATO GOAT rules of engagement. Do not feed the goats. Do not touch the goats. Do not go near the goats. Do not do what Private Nelson did to the goats. <laughs> okay, what did Private Nelson do? Do not enrage the goats. Alright. Keep the local goat population happy. Will do. Oh, beware, idiot sighted. Uh, I believe that on the picture is Colonel Akantheros, who is basically the um, the leader of the Altus Armed Forces and de facto dictator after the military has taken over the government and sparked a civil war. So he is kind of the reason why everything is fucked around here. Oh well, let's get on with the mission. How did things get this fucked anyway? Come on, it's hardly like it's a surprise. The economy's been in a fucking tank for a decade, at least. Yeah, but CSAT? How'd we ever let that happen, you know? Not our call anymore. They got jobs, growth, influence. Fucking China, man. Yeah. China, becoming a powerhouse. 
Well, I can see it happening. Well, sounds like McKinnon needs some heavy lifting done at Camino. I'll drive. Oh yeah. You sure you can handle that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Sergeant Lacey, grab that second truck. We're headed down to Camino. Oh yeah. Hold up a second there, Staff Sergeant. Let us get out of your way. Sure. Oh, that's Appreciate nice. It. You know, Carrie, the service here sure is excellent sometimes. Oh yes, it is. See why I turned down the audio? That thing is just so freaking loud with the sound mods that I use. By the way, if you want to know which mods I'm using, do check the video description, they are all written there. And if you like this episode and what happens later on in it, make sure to share the video with your friends so that they can have a look too. Just so we're clear, Carrie, this thing ain't exactly a sports car. It's gonna be heavier, it's gonna be less responsive. Just please don't flip us, and definitely don't run over some poor son of a bitch. I, for one, am not interested in that paperwork. All right. No worries. Do not run over the goats, sir. But yeah, I actually know a lot of people who have bought Arma 3 simply for the multiplayer. So there are quite a few people out there who have never played the single player campaign or even seen it. So share this video around, make them see what they missed out on. Because this campaign is actually one of the better ones created by Bohemia Interactive, in my opinion. While the first minutes are a little bit slow, it will escalate soon enough. There's a checkpoint up ahead. Slow it down. Nice and easy. Check that truck, Jeez, okay? Those greenbacks seem really on edge. No kidding. Now I better give Lacey the heads up. Sergeant Lacey, be advised. Greenbacks are really waving their dicks around today. Be on your best behavior at the checkpoint, soldier. You got that? Yes, Staff Sergeant. I'll put on my best smile, sir. You know, I don't even think they even know what they're looking for, Gary. I don't care. Let's go. That one carry. It's all clear. Oh, sure. Okay. I mean, Christ. Give me a break. What a complete waste of time these people are. Yeah, I agree. Whatever. Let's just get to Camino. We really don't like the greenbacks, the AF forces, because let's say they are not super competent and the civil war that they have been waging, they have been waging it with exceptional brutality towards um any dissidents and the civilian population. Stupid idiots. Is that what hit it? What? Shit! Stop the truck, Perry! Oh, crap. He's not breathing. What the hell happened? Staff yes, Sergeant Camino. Adams to Camino. Come in. Commander McKinnon's down. Requesting urgent assistance. Over. God damn it. Camino, I say again, requesting urgent medical support in our position. Commander McKinnon is down. Please respond. What? Camino to Broadway. Shot fired. 
Oh my god. Question. Shit. Come on, Gary. It'll be safer on foot. Okay, Ready back to Rogan. Copy that, Camino. Dispatching reinforcements. Just hold on. Echo, we see explosions at Camino. Gunfire across the island. Broadway, give me a report. Situation unclear, Echo. Wait one. Sir, you got any idea what's going on? Crap. Wait, CSAT? Oh crap. Stay alert. Get set for contact. Yeah, that's a good idea. Suppressing! Carry! Attack that rifleman! Drop the rifle! NATO forces on the They're shooting at us! Got one. Hey, F forces are considered hostile. Stop rolling, you little... Got him. But somebody else is shooting at us. There's one. Got that one. There's one. God damn it, I need to change max as well. I think I got him. He just ate a whole bunch of bullets. What the literal fuck? Are you kidding me? I don't know what the hell's going on right now. Neither do I. Just stay focused, Kerry. Eyes open. Rogue, we've just had a run in with three bank forces in the forest to your south. Over. Are you okay? Kip Rogue, do you read? Oh no. Yeah, point X is on the hill. Let's try to get there. In that direction. Okay, so the AAF forces are apparently trying to kill us. They are attacking us all across the island. Which means that we are stuck on this island with a whole bunch of murderous bastards who are trying to kill us. Wonderful! This is great! How are we going to get out of this one? I knew there was a reason why we really, really didn't like the greenbacks. And now we know why. Treacherous... Move 75 meters, front. Treacherous assholes. Oh man. Look at that. Jesus. Rogate's taken a beating. It really has. Let's hope X rays had better luck. Move it! Yeah. have a fresh full mag in the gun helicopter. Oh. 
back, so I must be up on this hill. Enemies. Point X has been overrun. Got him. Anybody else? Yeah, point X is gone. That's not exactly a good sign. Let's take some ammunition of this guy. Might need it. Smoke grenade might not be a bad idea as well. Uh, Adams, where are you? Where the hell are you? Area clear. Yes, 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 but where are you? Ah, there you are. Understood. Wait, I hear a chopper. It's one of ours. Yes. Echo to all units in the Rogaine area. We're setting up an evac point in LZ Baldy. Over. Sergeant Adams, we're on route. It's just the two of us, part of a detachment from Rogaine. We're moving out from Point X ray now. I've got me. Affirmative. We'll hold, but we can't stall forever. Over. Your godsend, Echo. Don't worry, we'll be there. Out! Let's hurry up. This is our ticket off the island. Oh my god. Oh, that jet just bombed that position. Echo to all units. We just got buzzed by a fast mover. Expedite, out! Okay. We might need to hurry up. God damn it, enemies in our way. Suppressing the enemy is always a good first idea. And now let's try to kill them off. But it's hard to hit them at this range with iron sights alone. I think I got one. Got the reload. Using up ammunition fast. Got one. Soldier, two hundred meters front. Carry, disengage. Four ways. Carry, free to engage. Carry, fire at that soldier. Front. Four diamond. Let's try to advance. That helicopter is waiting for us. What? Got him. Can we go now? Where do you see an enemy? in that direction but damn that's that's really far away let's hope somebody else gets that okay was there another one over here I'm not 100% sure yeah you too let's go there's one got him let's go come on Are you going that way? That's an AAF helicopter. Let's get out of here. Oh no. 
Oh no! That was our ticket out of here. Self is... Self is that way, so on the other side of the hill is a forest. Okay. Let's go there, then. Do you want to go through the valleys? Let's try to stay with him. Maybe going through the valleys is a good idea. That way we will not be seen by everyone when we go over that hill. Or he wants to link up with more survivors that are fighting over there. Let's see, we'll follow him. Fighting is everywhere around us. Or have you thought better of it? Now where do we go? Okay, let's go back this way. So we are going over the hill after all? Alright, let's do that then. I'm carefully managing my stamina. I am playing with the Ace mod and the Ace mod makes stamina much more important. You can drain it really fast if you sprint. So I'm trying to run as economically as possible so that I have reserves in case that I should need them. Oh, there you are. Medic Northwest. I see some movement, but I'm not gonna waste ammunition on those guys. Let's just go. We have our own problems. Where, where the hell did you go? Adams? He was behind me. He was behind me a moment ago. Where, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, he's having a look at the situation over on the other side of the valley, but... Man, it's not helping right now. We need to get out of here. Where the hell are you going? He seems to be hell-bent to engage in that fight over there. That's really not of any concern to us. Yeah, I okay. Oh, crap. Behind me. Anyone else? Yeah. Got him. Some enemies came up on us. Okay. Can we get out of here now? Where are you going? Where are you, in fact? You are... I think you are trying to help these friendly troops. Uh, okay, okay. I'll go with him. I'll go with him. We'll finish off the enemies really quick. Then we can continue. Load a fresh magazine. By the way... This um, game here, Arma 3, is not like most games where you basically always reload a full magazine. The partially unloaded magazines are now in my inventory. And the Ace mod actually allows me to do this. I can sit down for a moment and I can repack those partially um, filled magazines and turn them into as many full magazines as possible. That can be super important. Okay, I have three full mags and eight extra rounds. And I have a full mag loaded. Very good. Okay, Adams, where did you go? Where did he go? Oh, he's in front of me and there is, seems to be an enemy medic in this direction. I'm gonna dispatch that guy and then we can proceed with our escape. 
but the whole situation is so confused. Everything is messed up all around us. Where's that guy? Shooting in front of me here. Gotta be a bit careful. They are dead guys here already. Yeah, there's still an enemy medic around. There he is. Got him. Yeah, that was it. That poor guy gave us so much trouble. Okay, Adams, where are you? to my left somewhere. Should be coming up any moment now. Oh no, we have more enemies. Oh no, we are not going after that guy on the ridge. There. I mean, that guy is far away and he is running fast. I mean, if I land this shot, that would be a wonder. Where is he? Did I? Nah. Impossible. There's no way I landed that shot. But come on, we can't now make sure to kill every single enemy here. Let us proceed. Now he really wants to make sure that we kill every single last one of them. He is wounded. Maybe I did hit him. Seems unlikely, but... Oh, I did definitely hit him there. He flinched. Got him. Ha! <laughs> I'm good. Ouch. What was that? Grenade? Did that guy... He just fired a grenade before he died, didn't he? What a little... Bastard. Okay, can we get out of here now? Adams, where are you? There you are. Come on, let's get out of here. You have an escape plan. Let's act on it. Look at all the carnage and destruction around us. Camp Rogan is gone. Camino gone. Mike 26, the radar installation that we passed with the helicopter. Gone. Over here, everything, every single position is burning. All the men are dead. I can grab some more ammunition of this guy, I guess. At least... At least he'll... help out a fellow soldier in that way. And also smoke grenades. Thank you very much. Smoke grenades can be incredibly useful. Now, where did Adams go while I was... Now you're running! Why are you running away now? Come back here. Or wait for me. <laughs> That's not nice of him. But alright. Ah, there he is. Okay, we are following behind him. It's fine. We'll catch up to him. I'm on my way, don't worry. Don't worry. And to think that we almost got into that helicopter that got blown up by the jet. Come on. There's the forest. Yeah, there's the forest. We should have been in there already. So let's hurry up now. Look at this. Smoke, burning things everywhere. Every single position has been hit. Almost simultaneously. The AAF planned this. Rifleman, half a click, bearing two, two, five. There's an enemy. Man, half a click, southwest. Southwest. Enemy somewhere in that direction. Oh yeah, there's also gunfire into that valley. There must be more troops. Everything is super messed up. Adams is ahead of me. Okay, let's hurry up a bit now. 
and get into that forest. And I'm not spoiling too much if I tell you that in this forest we will be ending the mission. So I already want to tell you that I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode. God damn it, they're shooting at me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope I don't get killed right now. And I hope that you will be there for the next one. And until then, you should have some great days. Don't forget to share the video. Yeah, for how long? And tell me in the comments if you have played the Armor 3 main campaign or not. Do you own Armor 3? A lot of people who own Armor 3 have not touched the campaign. I, I know that. And it's interesting. So, see you soon. Goodbye.